see the drop down and how it adds up all the selections it's not from a website not a software if that's what is amusing you it's a simple job in excel hello there this is Fariha Tulmin from excel demi your one stop for excel blog posts discussion forums templates and vba related answers Our problem today is to create drop-down list in Excel with multiple selections. There is a dataset with 8 book names. We will create a drop-down list and create multiple selection in 2 steps for all the book names. Let's get down to the video. We want to create a list on cell C5. Let's start with clicking in it and go to the data tab. You will find the data validation option from the data tools group. It will bring the data validation window. Under the settings tab, you will find allow selection. You can choose whole number, decimal, date, text length, etc. A lot of things using data validation window. We will choose list since we want to create a drop down list. For source, we will select B5 to B12. Okay. From cell, you can see the drop down automatically along with all the 8 books within the list, and I can choose any one of them. Now, let's get down to choosing multiple options at a time from this drop down for second step. We will show you the trick with repetition of the choices and without repetition as well. To select multiple options from the list with repetition, let's try the Visual Basic Application, also known as VBA. We will use VBA since we can't do it simply by formula or command. Look out for the Developer tab. In case you don't find it, you need to enable it first. Go to the File tab, Options, from the Customize ribbon, you can see the checkbox beside developer is selected. If we unselect this, you cannot see this and selection of this checkbox will bring us the developer tab. Select OK. You can use this tab to write macro codes, use XML commands, ActiveX controls and some actions via Microsoft Visio. Select the Visual Basic from the code group. It will open an editor for you. You can get this using the Alter key and Function 11 or F11 key together as well. Since we want the code to run for one sheet, double click on Sheet 2 or the name you have chosen for your worksheet. It will open an editor for you. From this selection, choose Worksheet from General and change Selection Change to Change. This part is not necessary to us. We can delete this. Here, the change in worksheet will be the target. Initially, we will set dimensions, old value and new value as string. The variable old value represents first selection and new value represents next selection. If the data found is not string or any error occurs, this line will directly go to the exit subline. Now, if the cell address of the target is your drop down cell or cell D5 in case of this data set, it will proceed to next line where the code will exit the sub if there is no data found on target reference. Let us assume our event is not enabled and set the new value as our target value. Now we will undo the application and assign the target value to the old value. If old value is empty, the value will get assigned to new value. For the last option, 
target value will add both old and new selections. Let's end the conditions and enable events for application. Let's try it out on the drop down list. Here we will get the code for selection without repetition. The code is quite similar. Let's copy this code. Double click on sheet 3 or step 2.2. The only variation will be here. We will add in string function to look for the first character from old value to match with the new value. If it doesn't get a match, it will proceed to the next line. Otherwise, it will assign target value to the old value. Since we have used another if condition, we will conclude it. Queen map, she, it doesn't get selected. Queen map doesn't get selected as well, the mother. So we can see that we can select multiple options without repetition using this code. From these two methods, you can try any of them according to your convenience. You can practice this problem with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to solve the problem in the comment section with suggestions and feedback. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helped you. Thanks for watching.